In today's video, we're going to have a look at the best Terror Raid options to go into this week's Spotlight Terror Raid for the pseudo legendaries Dragapult and High Dragon. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So this week's Terror Raid event is going live on the 6th of January and of course it is going to be mainly featuring High Dragon for you Scarlet players and Violet for you Dragapult players. Obviously you're going to be able to go online and interact with the opposite version exclusives raid bosses to get access to those Pokemon in your copy of your game and they're primarily going to be 5 star raids so nothing too crazy to be going up against. Although when I did a video earlier in the week covering the announcement of this new Spotlight Terror Raid event there was a lot of interest from you for specific builds that are going to be useful for going in against these specific threats. So it shouldn't be too long a video today. We're going to start off with the strongest options. I feel the more reliable ones that you're going to go in against the majority of these two Pokemon. Obviously, both of them are dragon types. So going to have dragon type attacks. Fairy is your obvious means of typing to go in against these Pokemon with when they haven't got obscure or those more annoying terror types to go along with them. Hydra Dragon is going to have that part dark type to it, so it is going to have a weakness to fighting along with fairy, a four times weakness to fairy. So, the perfect Pokemon to go in against this high dragon raid if it is that dragon type or dark type terror typing is going to be something like Iron Valiant if you have access to this in your games. Obviously, it is a Violet exclusive, so you're going to have to have a friend if you are in Pokemon Scarlet to get access to this Pokemon, but the typing is perfect for high dragon. You can technically go terror type fairy as well well on this one but for this build i went fighting obviously the fairy would cover both the dragapult and the high dragon then if you wanted to go up against these pokemon just with using iron valiant we've got the life orb as an item here this can be changed of course to maybe an expert belt if you don't like the recoil damage that you're getting and uh, we've went for an adamant nature ev spread of 252 hp just to maximize longevity and then 252 attack evs as well move set we've went for sword stance we've got misty terrain sword stance which gives you a attack boost by two stages every time you use it making you a way bigger threat offensively after you've got three of these off and then we've got misty terrain which gives you support and your partnering pokemon support as well against any potential dragon type attacks of course the way misty terrain works it does give you immunity to any status conditions for five turns as long as the misty terrain is on the field as well as that it does reduce the damage of any dragon type attacks by 50 percent it doesn't give a boost to fairy type attacks so that's a common misconception with mystic terrain but it does reduce the damage of any dragon type attacks for anything that is grounded on the field main attacking options are going to be drain punch it is a means of recovery so once you've got those sword stance up so you're going to be able to hit drain punches into something like high dragon and do big damage and get a lot of your health back as well just making sure they stay on the field for as long as possible and spirit break gives you a fairy type stab which is going to be really good against high dragon in particular which is predominantly going to be a special attack in Pokemon and reduces the special attack stat of the opposing terror boss by one stage every time you use it and has the added bonus of being effective through the shield when that is generated by the terror raid boss. Next option we are going to look at is Sylveon. Again, pure fairy type. It is going to have the terror type of fairy. We're going to give it the item shell bell for form of recovery because otherwise it does really miss that. Then we've got the moveset of hyper voice, calm mind, fake tears and and reflect we've got an ev spread which is a little bit obscure we've got 252 special attack evs and i would probably suggest here just go for 252 hp evs but we've got a lot in special defense and a small amount 76 in defense we've got the ability pixelate which turns any normal type attacks into fairy type attacks meaning that hyper voice is going to be a fairy type attack when you do use it calm mind going to give you a form of boosting your special attack and special defense fake tears gives you an option to support not only you your teammates as well by reducing the special defense on the opposing terror raid boss by two stages and then reflect as well which is going to be really useful against something like dragapult primarily going to be using more physical type attacks then we've got old iron hands going to be a classic and a really good option here in these both of these raids primarily more so for the high dragon raids going to be fighting the electric type fighting terror types probably the better choice here citrus berry 
plays on the item choice for that belly drum here. We've got Electric Terrain, which you can give you a boost to Thunder Punch, but primarily for these raids alone, you're not going to really need those two middle slots, so they can be interchanged for anything that's more customizable, better for you going into raids. Uh, but primarily, you're just going to want to rely on belly drum and then Drain Punch against those Hydreigons. Probably not the best option to bring against Dragapult, but against Hydreigon, going to be a nice option, especially if it is going for that Steel typing. Um, you got to remember that Hydreigon does get access to moves like Flash Cannon, which it can utilize. We don't know the specific sets of these Terror Raid Pokemon yet, but we've got a good idea from the five star Terror Raids that we've got access to in these game of these Pokemon already. And if it does have Flash Cannon, that electric typing on Iron Hands is going to help you resist that attack even more. And you're going to be able to hit it for huge damage after a Belly Drum with Drain Punch um, because of that Steel Terror typing weakness that it has there. And also if it is a pure dark typing as well you're going to have a really easy time against high dragon because you're going to be able to hit it for super effective damage and iron hands bulky enough to take those big threatening dragon type attack the next option is tinkerton it is a fairy and a steel type pokemon we've went for the terror type of fairy here just because it gives you a good option against both the dragapult and the high dragon going to probably be one of the best options that you've got we've got the shell bell item and the move set we've got is play rough light screen it gives you a bit of support against that high dragon specifically giga Zen hammer gives you a steel stab attack as well so it's an option you can bring in against maybe the dragons that have a fairy terror typing and then sword stance which gives you an option to boost up its attack stat as well on tempo is the ability on this pokemon it probably more preferable one that you would want to go for on tinkerton and then ev spread of 252 hp evs and 252 attack evs with an adamant nature so that is tinkerton with the the shell bell there. Then, of course, I can't forget to mention Azumarill. We mention this all the time, but against dragons, you've got to include it in the options here. Shell Bell going to be the option. Fairy type is the terror typing here. And then we've got the moveset of Play Rough, Belly Drum, Misty Terrain, and Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet can be changed for something like Charm if you've got a user on yeah, your side of the field that can use something like Skill Swap to nullify the ability of particularly Dragapult because Dragapult does have that clear body ability. So you're going to want to have that removed before you use something like charm but that is an option over aqua jet which is probably not going to be that useful in these raids huge power is the ability adamant nature with 252 hp and 252 attack evs but primarily you're just going to want to belly drum up turn one and then just launch off player roughs so you can use misty terrain if you've got partners that would benefit from no status conditions i don't suspect either of these raids are going to have too many ways to throw out status conditions onto the field but it will help reducing the dragon type damage by 50 percent as long as that mr terrain is on the field another nice option is going to be grim snarl it is a great option in particular against dragapult it resists both of the main typings of dragapult in ghost and dragon you've got that dark and fairy type in fairy terror type on this grim snarl we're going to give it the shell bell and unlike most grim snarl that are a support grim snarl this one is a more offensive one we've got bulk up as a way to give you a defense boost as well as boosting your attack stat we've got light screen which gives you a really good way of get taking damage a lot easier off high dragon especially for you and your partner in pokemon spirit break a nice move to play off the bulk up with and then play rough a little bit more stronger option as well you can go with something like foul play there if you would like it just an alternative option over the spirit break but you're primarily just going to be relying on bulk up and spirit break for this with that prankster ability which just allows you to get the light screen up with that priority boost that prankster gives you and bulk up you're going to be able to get off before any any attacks are hit onto the field we've got an adamant nature for this grim snarl uh, 252 hp and 252 attack evs so we've covered the more generic pokemon that you're going to be able to bring in and probably the more consistent ones but we've got some other options as well that you can bring into these raids that provide a little bit more of a support option as well if you're wanting to go online support friends in these raids and just farm them and try and do as many as you can while this event lasts umbrian is going to be a brilliant choice it's going to resist the moves from high dragon it's going to be strong enough to take the dragon type attacks as well and then disrupt and support your fellow partnering pokemon and it's going to be a good option against dragapult as well obviously resisting that ghost typing that it is we've got the item leftovers for a form of recovery and we've got the options of skill swap screech charm and foul play now this specifically is really good against Dragapult. Dragapult has a clear body ability which for the most part is going to make it 
very difficult for you to reduce its stats on that side of the field because the clear body will block any stat reducing moves. If you skill swap turn one and give it the synchronized ability and give yourself clear body, that will stay on the Dragapult for the entirety of the Terror Raid battle, meaning that you're going to be able to take advantage of things like Screech, things like Charm and other options like Fake Tears on other Pokemon as well. And then you're going to be able to deal with it way, way easier. For see with the leftovers as well, you're going to have a form of recovery. So once you do get those Charms and Screeches off, you're going to be in a good position just to have that staying power with Umbreon. And it's so bulky anyway, you're going to be able to just get any of these attacks off and also cheer and support your partnering Pokemon. So a really good option as a support option going into these specific raids. We've got an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 defense EVs, and then we do have a bold nature on this, primarily because it's gonna be dedicated as a coming into the Dragapult raids more than the high dragon ones, you'll benefit more from that defensive boost than you would have done from the special defensive boost. Next Pokemon is gonna be Lucario. Now, I'm looking at options that are going to be good against things like Steel Terra type High Dragon. So that can be a bit annoying to deal with. Obviously, you're going to be really concerned more about the Dark type attacks and the Dragon type attacks that it is going to be launching out. Lucaria has a great type and going to be able to resist both of those attacking options from High Dragon. You're going to have to be careful around maybe the stray other options that it does have access to. It has a deep move pool. But like I say, right now, going into this event, we don't know the specifics of its move set. I wouldn't have thought it'd be that different from what we see in your general run of the mill five star raids that you already get in your games. Gonna give it the item Mental Herb because High Dragon does tend to carry Taunt and if you aren't, you aren't able to set up, then that can be a bit of a problem. Uh, the Mental Herb will give you an immunity to the Taunt, at least for one turn. We've got the Terra type of Fighting because primarily this is built to go in against uh, High Dragon raids, either Dark Terra typing, Steel Terra typing, or even normal Terra typing as well could be an, a nice option as well. Uh, we've got the moveset of Sword Stance going to give you a way to boost your attack stat to ridiculous levels. So you're hitting super hard. You've got Screech as well as an option to reduce the defense stat. So kind of stacking those up as well. Screech reduces the defense stat by two stages. Then you've got Drain Punch as your main attacking option there. It's going to give you a line of recovery as well with the Lucario. And then Zen Headbutt is an option that I put on there. I could have put Meteor mash and you still can put media mash in that slot to give you a steel type stab but i put zen headbutt on this option because hydragon and its poison terror type could be a bit annoying to deal with with the levitate ability that hydragon has you're not really going to be able to take a ground type pokemon to deal with that because it's not going to be able to hit it with the levitate ability so you're going to be relying more on psychic type attacks to deal with the poison threat and the problem is with bringing a psychic type against the high dragon is they're going to be probably weak to the dark type attacks making it a very difficult raid to go into with a psychic type whereas lucario with that steel and fighting type it does resist all of the attacks that the high dragon can throw out at you and then with zen headbutt after you've sword stance and screeched the high dragon down you're going to be able to do huge damage to it with this pokemon we've got the ability justified as well so if you are hit with a dark type attack from your lucario then you are going to get an attack boost as well just helps you boost that attack stat without needing to rely so heavily on sword stance and an ev spread here of 252 HP and 252 special defense EVs. Because High Dragon is so strong on the special attacking side of things, the special defensive EVs here are just gonna give Lucario a lot more staying power and allow you the room to kind of set up and disrupt um, before High Dragon is really able to do very much. So this one, a really nice option. I do like it, Lucario. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this out in this new spotlight event this weekend. Next up is Gallade. It is gonna play a bit more of a supportive option than the Lucario is, but it is going to be a good option nonetheless it is going to be a psychic and fighting typing and it's just going to take neutral damage from the dark type attacks because of the fighting type that it does have so it's not going to be hit as hard from dark pulses and things like that from high dragon it's going to be more of a high dragon build than it going in against dragapult and the psychic fairy typing now the main reason for this one is i could see the poison terror type high dragon being a little more awkward to deal with and although we've covered a little option on the lucario that we had here with that zen headbutt i felt like you might want a better option to go in against this raid with especially if you're wanting to pick yourself up a poison terror type high dragon we've got the item light clear on this and moveset we've got is light screen it's going to give you a bit more defensive coverage against those big 
special type attacks that High Dragon can throw out, especially the Dark Pulses, which can be a little bit annoying. And the Dragon type attacks as well, which you don't resist with Gallade. So Gallade naturally has high special defensive stat anyway, so that's just going to help it out a bit more and support the rest of your team members if you are going online. Swords Dance is going to be there because it is going to give you the attack boost that you're going to need to get the damage off to make these raids, raids a lot quicker. Psycho Cut is going to be the main option that you're going to be relying on to do damage, especially when you terastalize uh, against that predominantly more poison terror type high dragon. And then Drain Punch is another option that you can rely on for a form of recovery. We've got an Adam in nature here, 252 HP EVs and 252 attack EVs. The ability justified again. So if you are hit with dog type attacks, you're getting a bonus for that as well so you'll be taking neutral damage but you will also be getting an attack boost every time the high dragon does launch a dark type onto you and then the final one for this guide is probably my favorite one and is a dedicated dragapult slayer and it is going to be wiggly tough because of the normal type you are going to be immune to the ghost type of dragapult and the fairy type obviously means you're going to be immune to the dragon type so dragapult against you as a wiggly tough player is going to have an absolutely ridiculously hard time going to give it the fairy terror type and you're going to give it the item expert belt you can change this if you want but just the extra damage will be useful in this particular battle with wigglytuff we've got the move set skill swap because you're going to be able to get rid of that clear body turn one we've got the frisk ability there it can be any ability but primarily don't use competitive. You don't want to be skill swapping competitive onto the Dragapult. It can get a bit carried away if you're using moves like Fig Tears on it, and it will be boosting that special attack stat, which you want to try and stay a little bit clear of. So skill swap going to be the first thing that you're going to want to do going into the battle and remove the clear body ability on the Dragapult if it does have access to it, and then Fig Tears the Dragapult after that. Reduce its special defense stat by two stages. Calm mind a little bit with your Wigglytuff, and then Draining Kiss gives you an attacking option as well as a means of recovery. Uh, we've went for a modest nature here, EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack in EVs. And that is the Wigglytuff in a nutshell. It is gonna be the best thing that you can bring against Dragapult. Obviously different terror types will make it a bit more difficult to bring, but for the most part, Dragapult's move pool not gonna change. It's gonna primarily be using those dragon and ghost type attacks, which Wigglytuff is super immune to. And it's gonna be a great option to bring online and support your fellow players with as well. So Wiggly Tough, definitely something I would advise to build for this event. It'll be a lot of fun to use and probably the one thing that I'm looking forward to using a lot more in this. But that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video. I hope you found it useful and some of these builds make it easier for you to approach this Terror Raid Spotlight event that is happening this weekend. Of course, it is running from the 6th until the 8th of January and then we're going to get that Cinderace seven star raid back the following week after that so have fun with it friends let me know if you've got any particular builds that you'll be taking in to this event over the weekend i'd love to hear them i hope you found today's video useful if you have drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye